I don't make enough money. I don't know how I'm going to pay the mortgage. I might miss my car payment. What is the goal of getting on podcast? To get paid. You could have, wait for it, in a 30-day period, wait for it, 600 shows to choose from for 50 bucks a month. It is about selling. It's about having you get paid, but you've got to follow a process, a process that works. Welcome to the Thought Leader Revolution with Nikki Ballou. Join the revolution. There's never been a better time in history to speak your truth, find your freedom, and make your fortune. Each week, we interview the world's top thought leaders and learn the secrets of how they built a six to seven figure practice. This episode has been brought to you by eCircleAcademy.com, the proven system to add six to seven figures a year to your thought leader practice. Welcome to another exciting episode of the podcast, The Thought Leader Revolution. I'm your host, Nikki Balu. And boy, do we have an exciting episode lined up for you today. Today's episode is Thought Leader Nuggets number 139. Yes, sir. And this one's a doozy. It's the three biggest myths about how to make money from podcast guesting. And these are some myths we're going to bust up. So you can learn how you can make cold, hard cash from podcast guesting. Myth number one, the myth of hopium or content-driven visibility. So there's these folks who are out there going, hey, come, I'm going to show you how to get booked on a show. I'm going to book you on these shows, spend two to $5,000 a month with, the, with me, and then don't ever do anything I tell you not to do, like try to sell, get visibility and you'll sell. That's myth number one. You absolutely don't need to spend two to $5,000 a month on some PR person to get you booked on shows. I can show you how you can get booked on amazing shows for less than 50 bucks a month. And you could have as many as, wait for it, wait for it in a 30 day period, wait for it, wait for it, 600 shows to choose from 600 every 30 days. Okay. 600 for 50 bucks a month. So no need to spend three to $5,000 a month on somebody to get you booked on shows. That's number one. That's myth. Number one, myth. Number two, you need visibility. You need to be going for visibility on podcast. That is the content driven hopium myth. You don't need visibility to get on podcast. You don't, it's not the goal of getting on podcasts. What is the goal of getting on podcast? The goal of getting on podcast is to get paid, get paid. It's not about visibility. It's about making money. Are you interested in visibility? Did you get up this morning thinking to yourself, gee, what I'm really missing in my life is visibility. The biggest problem I have, the biggest itch I need to scratch is visibility. I'm not on enough podcast. No, nobody got up thinking that. But tons of people got up this morning thinking, the biggest problem in my life is I don't make enough money. I don't know how I'm going to pay the mortgage. I might miss my car payment. I might miss the kids' private school payment this month. Those are real problems. Those are real issues that you and other people have. Getting on a podcast ain't about visibility. It's about solving a problem called not enough income, not enough clients. And I'm telling you, anybody who tells you otherwise, anybody who's selling you that false hope of visibility is full of caca. Don't listen to them. They're giving you a myth. They're a charlatan marketer. Their hand is going deep in your pocket because they want two to five grand a month from you to do something that gives no outcome to you. Okay? So forget about that stuff. That doesn't work. That's a myth. It's horrible. And the third myth about podcast guesting is that you need a one sheet and I'm going to give you my free one sheet. And this one sheet is going to get you the magic of getting paid through podcasting. No, it's not. You don't need a damn one sheet to get on a podcast as a guest and be good at it. You need to follow a proven process. It is a process. Imagine when you're a guest on a show, being a guest on a show is very similar to being a cell speaker on stage. A cell speaker on stage has a process that they go through doing their cell speech. That's how come they're able to sell 
and make money as a sales speaker. A podcast guest has a process when they go on a show, a process that allows them to sell. And anyone who's telling you that when you're on a show, you're not selling is full of caca. You are selling. You may not be pitching to the audience and asking them to buy from you the way that you would when you are on an actual or virtual stage, but you are selling. Make no mistake about it. It is about selling. It's about having you make money. It's about having you get paid, but you've got to follow a process, a process that's proven, a process that works. I'm Nikki Billu. I've been doing podcast guesting in earnest, immersing myself into it since May of 2022. Over an 18-month period, I've generated over $357,000 in sales from being a guest on other people's podcasts. Most people who talk about guesting on podcasts have not made a dime from being a guest on other people's podcasts. And I repeat this, a dime. I have made $357,000 plus. Dollars. And if you are interested in learning how podcast guesting can help you make dollars, can help you get paid, then you're listening to the right person. If you want to find out more about this, get on my calendar, let's book a call, and I'll talk to you about how podcast guesting specifically can help you get paid. Paid, not visible not having this glorious one sheet that's not going to do caca for you and not just going on on a on on a show to have a conversation with somebody but specifically by doing my little known secret process that i personally discovered because i'm the only person in the world doing this and getting this kind of result and if that's what you want and that's what you're into then Get on my channel. Until next time, goodbye. This episode has been brought to you by eCircleAcademy.com, the proven system to add six to seven figures a year to your thought leader practice.